Part 2 In this video, we will continue to examine the human torso and shoulders. Breast and Shoulders Here is a stylized sketch of the torso, as seen from the back. The spinal column runs vertically, and the rib cage is shaped like an oval. The scapula, or the shoulder blade, is in its normal position with the arm simply hanging down. In this position, the inner border of the scapula is almost vertical. The first pair of ribs forms an almost circular shape. The width of the circle defines the size of the neck at its base. Many neck muscles attach to that pair of ribs. Just above the first rib, there is the collarbone or clavicle. The clavicle is also connected to the manubrium. It can only withstand 15 kilos or approximately 30 pounds of weight. This bone has a curved shape. First, it bends around the rib and then follows the direction of the shoulder axis. The two clavicles together look like the handlebars of a bicycle. The second rib connects to the breastbone at the point between the manubrium and the body of the sternum. The second pair of ribs is wider than the first one. This pair connects to the second thoracic vertebra. As you remember, the clavicle, or collarbone, is connected to the shoulder blade, which is called the scapula. The bony tip of the scapula, where the collarbone is attached, is called the acromion. The same parts of the shoulder blade can be seen on another scapula, which are the acromion, the glenoid fossa, and the caracoid process. So here we go. Arms attached to the scapula at the ball and socket joint, and the scapula is attached to the body via muscles and tendons.